I've tried cocoa in Taiwan and so far I haven't been that impressed but I'm hoping that these drinks that you guys recommended to me will change my mind. Honestly, it's not bad but it's just really, really unique and different from any taro milk tea I've ever had in my life. Oh my gosh, I literally can't even start this video like a normal video because I'm so freaking excited. So I get so many questions from you guys asking me what kind of straw do you use or where did you get your glass straw or well, really just those two questions, but I get them all the time. So this is the straw that I usually use. It's from a small business called EcoU, and I've been using this thing religiously for like two years now. This is the one I use in every single one of my videos. So that brings me to what I'm really freaking excited about today, which is that me and EcoU have teamed up to make a Feed Mei Mei Boba Straw. <gasps> I still can't believe I'm holding it in my hands right now. So it's their same really sturdy, durable glass straw, but this one says feed me boba. So it's kind of like a play on feed me me. It's like feed me. And we worked really hard on this design, but I wanted it to be perfect. And I'm so in love with how it turned out. I really hope you guys like it too. So in addition to the straw, you'll also get one of these carrying cases. And I love bringing these around. And I love that it's like this hard cover because I've tried other reusable straws before and they usually come in like a cloth case or something. And that just makes it kind of messy and like not easy to clean and this is super easy to clean and it's very convenient it also comes with a brush cleaner because of course you need to clean your straw and also it's gonna come with oh my gosh i like literally haven't shown these to anyone i've shown it to my patreons but that's it so this is the first time i'm showing them on camera but we have these cute boba stickers oh my gosh Oh my god, I'm so freaking in love with these designs and I've always had to be careful to hide it from you guys But now I don't have to hide it anymore So there's three different designs for the stickers and in each kit You're gonna get one randomly selected and I was planning to sell these stickers on Etsy So these are unreleased right now and I do still plan to sell them in the future But right now they are exclusive to this collab. So yeah, this is my straw collab and I'm super excited about it I hope you guys are excited too and I will have the link in the description for it But anyway moving along to the topic of the video we are going to try my subscribers favorite boba drinks today a few videos ago i asked you guys to comment your favorite boba drinks and you guys did not hold back i got so many submissions i counted up how many times a certain place was recommended a certain drink was recommended and chose based on that because i'm not going to be able to get through all of them but let me know if you guys want to see a part two after this one so with all that out of the way let's finally get into this trying my subscribers favorite boba drinks All right, so we just stopped by Feng Cha in Newark and they also have locations in Burlingame and Berkeley as well as a lot of other locations around the US. But this is one of my go-to boba spots for sure. I feel like if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen this on my stories many a time before. I got the Dirty Boba, which is actually my go-to order here. And I got this one because I saw a lot of you guys in the comments telling me to do a, like a brown sugar boba or a black sugar boba or a tiger drink, you know? So all of those are synonymous with like a dirty boba drink. For some reason, that drink has so many names and it's very confusing but yeah so i also got a mango freeze and i got this one because i saw so many comments saying you guys get mango slushies or mango smoothies and you add boba to it so this is basically like the feng cha equivalent to that so let's try the dirty boba one first and also i wanted to point out that they have a torch sugar on top which i always love and of course we're gonna drink it with the feed mei mei boba straw Ooh, yes oh my gosh if you guys like this drink too i would also recommend the one at royalty i think they have a location in fremont and in oakland they also have a really good like creme brulee brown sugar boba drink there mm. 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 their boba is literally cooked to perfection it's so soft and chewy and it also has a really nice brown sugar flavor to it as well mm. Mm. Their torch sugar on the top is actually a very thin layer, so it's not like super, super um, thick and crunchy. And I also love just eating like the cream on the top. Mm, mm, mm. I could literally finish this thing in like five seconds, but I need to refrain because we have a lot of other boba drinks to try in this video. So let's try the mango breeze now. I'm actually pleasantly surprised because this has been sitting here for a bit and so I expected the boba to get hard because this is like a blended drink. It definitely still is a little bit harder than the dirty boba one, but it's surprisingly good for being in a drink that's like a frozen drink. The mango flavor itself doesn't like hit you in the face, but it's like a nice like subtle mango flavor. So yeah, really good start to the video so far and let's head to the second stop.
All right, so we just stopped by the second stop, which is Happy Lemon. I get so many of you guys telling me to try Happy Lemon, and truth be told, like a few years ago, I used to go to Happy Lemon way too often. I had a Happy Lemon phase. Actually, a lot of the places you guys tell me to go to, I went through a phase with them. Gong Cha, I had a phase. T4, I had a phase. Share Tea, I had a phase. Happy Lemon, I had a phase. But whenever I would go to Happy Lemon, I'd either get the green tea with salted cheese or the mango matcha. And this one I've never tried, which is the black tea with salted cheese. I usually would just get the green tea one because I'm more of a green tea person than a black tea person. But a lot of you guys recommended the black tea with salted cheese. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. If you guys have not been to Happy Lemon before, you're basically supposed to sip it from this little opening and you're supposed to tilt it at a 45 degree angle. Was that 45 degrees? <laughs> but actually, it's very, very good. Oh, it's really nice. I actually haven't been to Happy Lemon in a while, and I forgot how good their salted cheese is. It's like super creamy and silky smooth. Has a little hint of the saltiness to it, but it complements the tea really, really well. Mm, mm, mm. And I really like this 45 degree angle sipping technique because it allows you to get like the perfect sip every time, like a little bit of the salted cheese on top and then some of the tea as well. And I also remember that when I used to drink this and when I finished it, I used to always take the cap off like this and then I would like lick the cheese off the cap because it was so good. Does anyone else do that? Just me? Okay. <laughs> oh man, I forgot how good Happy Lemon is. But yeah, let's head to the third stop. All right, so we just stopped by Valley Fair, which had the third and the fourth stop. So first I went to Coco, because a lot of you guys recommended it to me. And I've tried Coco in Taiwan. I also tried it like a few weeks, maybe like a few months ago. I don't remember, not that long ago. And so far I haven't been that impressed. Like even the one in Taiwan, I was like, mm, it's just okay. But I'm hoping that these drinks that you guys recommended to me will change my mind. So let's go ahead and try this one first. So this drink is called the Three Guys and I believe it's a milk tea with boba, grass jelly and pudding. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Um, Immediately, the boba is too hard for sure. Like I bite down and yeah, it's not soft and chewy. Like it is chewy, but it's hard and chewy. So yeah, not really a fan of that, but let me try to get the pudding and the grass jelly. I got some pudding and like, it's fine, but I've definitely had like better puddings. I'd actually say that I like the grass jelly because it's like very silky and smooth. And I also like how it comes in these like big chunks and it kind of just like breaks apart in your mouth. It's really nice. And it does have like that nice grass jelly flavor as well, but I'm super not impressed with the boba and the pudding and the milk tea itself. The milk tea itself is also just kind of okay. Definitely not like the best milk tea ever. It definitely has a nice like creaminess balance, but I wouldn't say that it has like a really strong tea flavor or anything. So overall with this drink, I'm not a huge fan. I do like the grass jelly though. But of course we still have another drink. This is the Tropical Special and it has passion fruit green tea with boba and lychee jelly as toppings. They are definitely generous with the toppings. Look at that. Seriously, like a third of the cup is toppings. In this one, the boba is definitely still on the hard side, but it is a little bit better than the three guys one. So maybe it's like some kind of consistency issue. I'm not sure, but I do like the lychee jelly. I mean, I personally am a fan of lychee jelly in these kinds of like refreshing drinks. And I am actually a fan of the passion fruit tea part because it has like this nice passion fruit flavor, but it's not too tart or anything. It's like a nice balance between sweetness and tartness. And it's really, really refreshing. Hmm. So yeah, if I were ever to come back to Coco again, I'd definitely get this drink. I wasn't really a fan of the Three Guys one, but yeah, this one is pretty solid. And moving on, I also went to Share Tea inside of Valley Fair and I got their matcha milk tea with red bean. So I got a good amount of comments saying you guys like matcha stuff. And then also a few comments about matcha with red bean specifically, which I already know that these two go really, really well together. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Ooh, you can see they're actually so generous with the amount of red bean they give. That's a lot of toppings down there. Ooh, that is indeed a lot of red bean. Oh my gosh. I feel like you kind of have to portion out the red bean amongst the whole drink because if you just drink straight from the bottom, you're just going to get a whole mouth of red bean. <laughs> 
Now that I'm drinking it more, I think maybe there's too much red bean, at least for my liking, because I feel like the red bean taste definitely overpowers the matcha taste. Like, I can't really taste much of the matcha. This seems more of a red bean drink to me than a matcha drink. But I do think that if you really, really, really love red bean, then you would definitely like this. All right, so so far we've tried six drinks and now we're gonna head to the last stop. All right, so we just stopped by the fifth stop, which is Kung Fu Tea, and we got two drinks here. We got the Taro Milk Tea with Boba and also the Thai Milk Tea with Boba. <laughs> this one is weirding me out a little bit because it's not orange. Like, Thai Milk Tea is usually very bright orange, and this looks like a normal milk tea, like a black milk tea. And this one isn't that purple, but I understand if it's this color because they use fresh taro because usually fresh taro doesn't have like a bright purple color it's usually the powder that gives it that color but yeah these kind of caught me a little bit off guard but we're gonna go ahead and give them a try i'm gonna go ahead and try this thai milk tea first because i'm just really really curious if it actually tastes like thai tea or if they gave me the wrong thing i'm not really sure hmm no it actually does taste like thai tea how weird is that? Oh my gosh. Let me know if you guys have tried Kung Fu Tea's Thai Tea and if it usually looks like this because my mind is like, it doesn't look like Thai Tea, but it tastes like Thai Tea. So let me know if your guys' Kung Fu Tea Thai Tea looks like this. In terms of the drink though, I'm not super impressed because it does taste like Thai Tea, but it's not like a super strong Thai Tea flavor. And I've just had better Thai Teas in my life. The boba is just okay. Like, it is a little bit on the hard side, not like super hard like Coco's, but it's on the harder side. It does have a chew, but it's definitely not my favorite. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed in this because I tried Kung Fu tea for the first time in San Diego like five years ago, something like that. And I remember I really liked it. But yeah, anyway, let's try the taro milk tea now. The color of this one makes me hopeful that they use fresh taro in it. So let's just try it out. Hmm. Actually, the boba in this one is better than the one in the Thai milk tea, which is kind of weird. But yeah, it's definitely softer, not as hard. It's chewy, you know, still not the perfect boba texture, but definitely a lot better than the Thai milk tea one. This taro milk tea is really confusing me right now because I feel like there is an essence of real taro in there and it definitely doesn't taste like the normal taro powdered taro milk teas from like other places it has like a different flavor to it and when i drink it it seriously tastes like fruity pebbles <laughs> like the best way i can describe this drink is if you had fruity pebbles with milk and like the milk soaked up all the fruity pebbles flavor and you put it in this drink and then you put boba in it and that's basically what this tastes like honestly it's not bad but it's just really really unique and different from any taro milk tea i've ever had in my life very very interesting well on that note let me know if you guys want to see a part two to trying my subscribers favorite boba drinks because i definitely could not get through every single one in this video and don't forget to check out the link in the description for the feed may may boba straws ah i'm seriously still like so giddy over it it just feels like a dream come true honestly so definitely make sure you check it out because not only will you be making a small step towards sustainability but you'll also be supporting me and a small business so yeah if you guys like this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when i upload give this video a thumbs up and here is today's comment shout out thank you so much for your support and if you want to be in the next video's comment shout out make sure you comment something down below and and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm literally so excited. Oh, do I have eye boogers? I do. Oh, oh no. And I really like this 45 de gringle, de gringle. <laughs> we have our own. Ah! Well, that sounded really weird. <laughs>